have the chart, right? And then uh, I have this market, and then suddenly as it's going like this, or maybe sometimes it's staying in a kind uh, on a kind of a of a range, and then suddenly opens here and it's going up. So this area of actually from here, maybe this top here, it's uh, 20, let's say. So in here, this one is 23. That means from 20 to 23, we don't have any price. Usually it goes back and closes the gap. <laughs> okay, this is what I was expect expecting to hear, right? So opens with a gap, we, let, we say close here, and then from 19 to 24 maybe, there is no price, and the buyers are willing to buy directly at the 24, and they have a deal there. That's, this is called gap, right? So uh, I was looking for this thing in our uh, books, right? So I found very brilliant ideas, anyway, how to make money out of this or take advantage of this. So, but uh, I saw some ridiculous uh, 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 views about the gaps, right? So on the way down now, so around the area of the second one, right? So all, the market will find the support. I mean, you see, after this gap, we will stay here around this area, right? So, and now I saw some amazing, unbelievable, stupid conclusions. So they say, because we had a gap before, the market will come back to close the gap, which is totally wrong. Total. It's not just wrong, it's total, totally wrong. Right? Why? Because he was from Bahrain, a lady, uh, that told me that I trade on, uh, on only the gaps. I said, what do you mean? When as soon as I have a gap and the market is moving up, I sell. I said, are you serious? And if there is another one, what are you going to do? I keep it. And if there is another one, what are you going to do? You are going to still keep selling short.